live in LA. I live with my girlfriend. I saw my girlfriend's sex toys. This me up. I thought it was a microphone. <laughs> I know. I was like, you're doing stand up too? That's crazy. <laughs> And I read it, it said magic wand, and I knew exactly what it was. That girl's got a magic wand. Yeah. I don't know why that's funny to you. Is it inside you right now? That's great. That's an accurate name for a woman's sex toy, right? Because you got to learn sorcery to make them come, right? You got to jump on a train to Hogwarts. Expect a patrol come. It fucked me up because she had a big one and she had a little one. I said, babe, why do you have a small one? She goes, that's not a dildo, that's a vibrator. I said, what's that? And she goes, it doesn't go inside, it goes on the clit. And I was like, what's that? <laughs> and she was like, that's why I have one. You know? <laughs> we don't even fuck anymore. I just put it on top in Harlem Shake. That's all I do. <laughs> it's like, is this good? <laughs> Up. I live with my girlfriend. We have a puppy and two dildos. It's nice. <laughs> I love my puppy. I love my puppy so much, I feel like I could be a good father based on how I treat my puppy. I know a lot of people are like, it's not the same thing. I'm like, yeah, but has your kid ever run away from you at 48 miles per hour? Has that ever happened? <laughs> Sorry, 60 kilometers per hour? <laughs> Has your kid ever given you rabies? I don't think so. <laughs> Kids never die from a Kit Kat, you know? <laughs> I, love my, I love my dog so much, I understand the movie John Wick now. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen it, somebody kills Keanu Reeves' dog, and then he murders 87,000 people. <laughs> I know, I watched it, I was like, dude, you gotta chill, and then I got a dog, and I was like, that's not enough. <laughs> you gotta kill more people. If you kill my dog, I'm gonna make you take a 23 and me. That's my hit list. That's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm killing your ancestry. I love my dog, man. It's cool. I got two dogs. I got a little Shih Tzu and I got a Golden Doodle. Yeah, my Golden Doodle is what I call my girlfriend. That's why I call her because that's the whitest dog you can have. <laughs> Most dogs are white dogs, right? Except for like Rottweilers and pit bulls. I'll let you decide. <laughs> Rottweilers are Mexicans, for sure. <laughs> Every time you see a Rottweiler, doesn't it look like it's about to say, what's up, Holmes? Like, <laughs> hey, I say, like a little <laughs> German Shepherds, those are Nazis. <laughs> right? That's why you always see them at the airport. I need to inspect the bag. <laughs> I think I smell the Juden, you know? <laughs> I call my girlfriend a golden doodle because she's white and she sheds. <laughs> I didn't know I had to groom my girlfriend. I had no idea. It was crazy. My girlfriend sheds so much, I had to have my drain clogged. And the dude showed up to unclog my drain. He put a little snake in there. He pulled it out. I had my phone ready. I was like, I'm going to show this Rapunzel-ass bitch what she did. <laughs> I had my phone ready out. And he pulled it out. And it was a long, thick black look. It looked like Osama Bin Laden's beard. <laughs> he pulled it out. I swear to God, it went, Allah! <laughs> it looked at me and said, Jihad. I was like, yo, <laughs> put that shit back, though. I don't, I don't want to see that. <laughs> I should have known it was my hair. I should have known. <laughs> I've, seen, I've had facial hair and pubic hair since I was 13. <laughs> Months old. I was a baby. <laughs> I was a baby with it. <laughs> I like living with my girlfriend. She got me a cool gift recently. She got me a bidet. Does anybody have a bidet in here? <laughs> that, hell yeah, hell yeah. That's the sound I make on my bidet every time. <laughs> If you don't know what a bidet is, it's a thing that shoots water into your anus, right? Until it cures homophobia. It's amazing. <laughs> it's incredible. Amazing. Yeah. Real. <laughs> Yo, the first time I used it, the first time I used it, I called every kid that I called gay in middle school and apologized. I did. <laughs> 
I was like, yo, Matt, I'm so sorry. He's like, you got a bidet? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's heated, you know. <laughs> I feel like bidets could solve homophobia, right? You put a couple bidets in like a Waffle House, right? <laughs> Some homophobic dad walks in. Ain't no son of mine bringing another man to my. What does this thing do? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> love is love, man. God damn. <laughs> Being here. I live with my white girlfriend, man. That's that's cool. It's fun. We get to do fun stuff, like go to Utah. It's cool, <laughs> you know. We did all the white shit in Utah. We went snowboarding, we went skiing, you know, we went colonizing. That was fun. <laughs> I was exhausted. <laughs> you know, I talk a lot of shit about white people. I got white people in my family. I do. I got a white aunt. She's fucking my brown uncle because he's killing the fucking game, you know? <laughs> He probably called India. You're not going to believe this. <laughs> You're like, what? You got the promotion? He's like, I'm fucking white pussy. You know? <laughs> they probably got a statue of him, you know? <laughs> My white aunt is real white, too. She lives in Savannah, Georgia. Yeah, if you don't know what Savannah, Georgia is, watch any slavery documentary. <laughs> now you know what Savannah, Georgia is. She lives in Savannah, Georgia. I went and visited my white aunt, and she made me fried chicken, and I said, I didn't know you could do that. And she goes, I learned from the best. I said, oh, who'd you learn from? And she goes, you know who makes the best fried chicken? And then my racism alarm was like, three, <laughs> two, one. And then she goes, the help. I know, I was like, are you mentally challenged? What? And she was like, no, when I was a kid, we had the help. And I was like, what are their names? I got to know their names. She goes, there was Miss Patty. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> she goes, Miss Harriet. I was like, please don't say Tubman. Please. <laughs> please don't do that. And she goes, there was Mr. Otto. And I was like, oh, at least it was a man. He was, she was like, he worked outside. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> it was crazy. But you know what? I looked at my aunt, and then I looked at my uncle, and I looked at my aunt, and I looked at my uncle, and I was like, you know what? She's fucking a brown dude. That's progress, right? <laughs> That's amazing, right? Her pussy desegregated. That's... <laughs> it's no lo her water fountain is no longer whites only. That's amazing. <laughs> she went from brown versus the board of education to my uncle's brown dick versus that white box. That's amazing. 